fuel injection pump delivers accurately metered quantity of fuel under high pressure. The jerk type injection pump consists of a reciprocating plunger driven by a camshaft. Let's have a look at the chief components of this pump. This is the cylinder within which a piston reciprocates. There's an inlet port, a spill port and an outlet. The piston fits perfectly within the cylinder. Notice the helical groove. It plays a crucial role in controlling the quantity of fuel. The lower part of the piston has a lug, a cam follower and a disc. This is a sleeve that fits outside the cylinder. It has a tooth part. We'll see why soon. The lug of the piston fits in the groove of the sleeve. This is the whole assembly. The control rack meshes with the tooth portion of the sleeve. It controls the rotation of the sleeve and thus of the piston. This spring presses the cam follower onto the cam surface. A close-up of the cylinder top. A valve closes the outlet of the cylinder. If the fuel pressure within the cylinder is enough to overcome the spring's force, the valve opens and the fuel flows. As you can see, the control rack rotates the sleeve and the piston. The orientation of the piston decides the quantity of fuel and effective stroke. When the piston begins to move up, at first the fuel can exit through the spill port. There is no pressure buildup and the valve remains closed. Once the spill port is blocked, the fuel is trapped. As the piston rises, pressure builds up which exerts a force on the valve. Ultimately, the valve opens and high pressure fuel is delivered to the injector. As the piston rises, the spill port is uncovered again. Pressure drops and the valve closes. The duration for which the valve is open in each stroke is known as the effective stroke. Okay, let's try this again with a different orientation of the piston. The spill port is open and the valve is closed. The piston rises, the spill port is covered and the valve opens due to the pressure. The piston rises further, the spill port is still closed. Notice that the valve remains open longer in this case, that is a longer effective stroke. Once the spill port opens, the valve closes back down.